my doorstep dollies box that I promised last night that I would do today. And what you see behind you is my screen of shame. <laughs> you will see this from time to time when my room is so messy that I can't even film because it's destroyed. So anyway, I'm going to put the box on the ground. I have, um, in case you guys didn't see the other video, I have already seen these. And these dolls are doorstep dollies because I did not purchase them. They were given to me. So, I'm going to put the box over here. It is pretty hefty. And I will get these out one at a time and I apologize for the crackling one of my uh, pet peeves with videos is too much crackling excessive crackling it just gets on my nerves so I will try my best to get rid of the paper as soon as possible now my mother-in-law and her friend went to Florence, Kentucky, and they went to the Florence Antique Mall, which is apparently pretty huge. Um, and they sent me some pictures and asked if I might be interested in this little lady right here. They sent me some other pictures and I actually just told them, there's my cat again, trying to get in. Um, sent me pictures and asked if any of them interested me and they look to be a little bit overpriced so I said thanks but no thanks that they needed whoop, they needed a lot of cleaning up as you can see this one is still got some dirt and grime on it which you know what that's not an issue for me I don't care I have bought um, dolls from yard sales that have been in plastic tubs or toy boxes for years. I have gotten dolls that were put out to the curb. So I am not above using some el elbow grease and um, scrubbing up a doll. However, here's where I take issue <laughs> with dirt and grime. If they appear, like look at this one here, in addition to that, there's some marks right here when they appear in a antique or vintage shop, honestly, they should be cleaned up a little bit. And if they're not, that's fine. I know some people do not want to tackle that and they also uh, don't know how to tackle that. Fine, all fine, except when it comes to the price tag. That's what I take issue. Don't, don't char, don't be selling uh, yard sale uh, quality items or to the trash type of items um, at the antique and vintage prices. If it's not cleaned up and someone's not done anything to it, then you need to be realistic. You have an old near doll, yes, it could be worth money. Keyword could with clean up. So I saw this one and I did agree to this one because the price was ten dollars. Well, they ended up paying five for it, which was very good. And then I ended up getting uh, this as a gift for my mother-in-law. She wouldn't let me pay her. So again, doorstep dollies, I did not purchase. And I did try to purchase this one. She wouldn't let me. And they got her for $5. Now $5 is more like what she should have been. $10 was just a little too much. And she is the baby magic doll and I will go over um, and do a video of her cleanup and everything I think uh, my mother-in-law's friend may have accidentally unknowingly forced her arm down um, because it's awful loose and she did say that it clicked when she put it down so but we'll just have to see even if it is broken she still has a very distinctive face and it is Mattel and she has the tear ducts, so she cried and took her bottle and her lips were uh, also supposed to move. So we'll just have to see. Um, sometimes I like the face so much I don't even care if it doesn't work. And she has some sun uh, fading on her dress. So we'll see about that one. That is the one vinyl out of the group. 
go on here. The rest of these are porcelain dolls. And I was told they got really, really good deals on all of these. So I am very glad. This one is a doll in a seated position. And she's got a cute little denim uh, skirt and top. Her wig is a little bit messy, but it's still in pretty good shape. And um, I like that she's in the seated position and she has her cute little bare feet. So we'll just have to see uh, about what I'll do with this one. This one might be on the back burner. So we'll just have to see. And I think that she's pretty cute. She does have some dirt, but she doesn't have any chips or broken fingers, so that's good. So there's that one. And doorstep dolly number three is this cutie pie. And she is a crawling baby. And she is porcelain. And she has a mark on her um, that says by Nita, N I T A, 1984. So a doll, a porcelain doll artist created her. Look, her head little bobbles too, as you can see. And it looks like this is the person who created her made this beautiful dress. And there's really nothing to do with this baby except um, clean her up a little bit. Let me find the hat. She said the hat was on this, but I really think that that's more like a little girl's hat and not a baby, baby's hat. So I think I'll make a little bonnet because she has this um, cord here uh, that keeps her strung in this position so she can crawl. So really, I mean, there's nothing to do with her except for clean her up and maybe put a little bonnet on her. And I don't know, but I might repaint her eyelashes. What do you guys think? Her eyes are very beautiful, but I think her eyelashes could be tamed down just a little bit. Otherwise, she's gorgeous how she is. Okay. Now, for the final doll, this one is a big baby, and she's also, did I say vinyl doll, or final, I meant to say final doll, it is a porcelain doll, and it has a few more, um, it has a, a few more issues, it's got some uh, dirt looks like a sticker um, there's dirt on the arms it looks like it's been given a um, outfit that's just a little bit too big but it is really cute and the face is really cute very expressive face and you don't always see the porcelain in this bigger size as you can see it's can't even put my hand around the face. Well, I can, but just barely. And this one is marked by Carolyn, um, 1986. So this was also an artist doll. And what does this tag say? Permanent press. I guess that's just for the outfit. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take off the outfit because I didn't get to look at the construction of this body but it's it's body is so soft and doll collectors you know especially if you're a baby doll collector you just will always take to the chunky babies the fluffy cuddly babies and my mother-in-law said that her friend actually carried this baby around with her um, over her shoulder burping her so that is a soft, plump baby. It, it could stand to be just a little bit longer. But all in all, what a cute little find. There we have all of our doorstep dollies for this time. wonder if I should attempt to bring them all back in frame. Very carefully, there's our little crawler. And... 
our other seated baby. Put that there. And then our baby, our vinyl baby magic right here. So everybody, thank you for tuning in. And again, I just wanted to say, um, until I can um, get the word out as much as I can, I wanted to say again, thank you guys for all of your kind words, um, your likes, um, everybody who takes time to watch and gives the um, uh, videos a thumbs up. I, so I appreciate it and that's why I'm doing this, to, to learn, to interact, to share, to help, to create, to inspire, um, to get inspired, all of those things. I will see you soon in my, I have tons planned. This one might be the only one for today though. Anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful, magical day. Bye-bye.